Good day! Welcome to Practical Research 2 class. I am Miss Jenny V. G. Arimbuyutan, but you may call me Miss A. This video lesson provides you assistance in accomplishing the task in your learning modules. Today's session leads you through the process of understanding concepts of quantitative research. This leads you through the basic elements of research which are essential for good research practices. Also, this introduces the importance of quantitative research in different fields. At the end of this session, you are expected to identify the different disciplines where you can use quantitative research, emphasize the contribution of quantitative research across fields, and illustrate the importance of quantitative research across fields. Have you ever wondered how competing networks determine the satisfaction ratings of their viewers per television show aired in a specific time slot? Numbers. They truly project reality. Have you also asked yourself where the best spaghetti or fried chicken in town is? You may ask your friends. The most mentioned brand or store wins in your mind and somehow gives you an idea what to choose. Numbers. They represent meaning and connect ideas. Rankings and percentages are products of quantitative research. Most areas of study have to deal with processes that involve experimentations, tests, and research. In these situations, quantitative measures are more or less involved. In validating results and findings, quantitative research serves as a multi-purpose method. For example, to test, to identify, to count, to assess, to clarify, etc. Some areas and the function of quantitative research are provided in this video lesson. So, let's get started! Number 1. Education Quantitative research can be used in measuring the level of performance of students as well as teachers. It can also be used to assess the effectiveness of the methods used, the different programs conducted, and the satisfaction of all stakeholders in the education sector, including students, faculty, parents, administrators, the community, the government, and non-governmental organizations. Through this research method, the interests of these groups can be advanced or enhanced by implementing quantifiable best practices. Number 2. Business. Quantitative research is a valued tool in business when it is used intelligently. It can improve the overall marketing strategy, help the company make informed decisions on how to move forward with a particular product or service, and even solicit consumers' opinions for productivity. This type of research is largely utilized in product development to create favorable marketing campaigns. Data that are often used in this type of research are market size, demographics, and user preferences. Number 3. Communication Research are often interested in how an understanding of a particular communication phenomenon might be generalized to a larger population. For example, researchers can advance questions like, what effect do disciplinary behavioral control statements have on a classroom? Or, what communicative behaviors are associated with different stages in a romantic relationship? Number 4. Demographics Quantitative research samples of populations ideally are collected by selecting respondents randomly from the larger populations. You may use quantitative research to discover patterns, associations, correlations, and other features of a population. Researchers collect demographics to inform readers about the sample of respondents to their survey. The hope is, the sample is the representative of the larger population. Number 5. Economics You may use quantitative research to evaluate economic behavior and design economic policies and techniques. Applying quantitative methods, models, and the corresponding procedures help to make more accurate and efficient research of complex economic phenomena and issues, 
as well as their interdependence with the aim of making decisions and forecasting future trends of economic aspects and processes. Number 6. Sports Medicine In this discipline, a quantitative study may be done by studying a phenomenon like what the University of Eastern Finland did. They investigated the relationship between the growing of fast food chains and obesity of children as well as the intervention needed to prevent the children's obesity from reaching serious proportions. It had been found out that doing active exercise would help the children have 26 to 30 percent less adipose tissue than their peers who were physically inactive. Number 7. Medical Education Experimental research designs may enhance the quality of medical education. The said design tests intervention like curriculum, teaching learning process, or assessment with an experimental group. Either comparison or controlled group of learners may allow researchers to overcome validity concerns and infer potential cause and effect generalizations. Number 8. Behavioral Science Relationship questions tend to explore how one behavior exhibited by people is related to other types of behavior. Examples are verbally aggressive behaviors related to physical aggression. That is, when a person has high level of verbally aggressive behavior, does he or she tend to be physically aggressive? Are certain supervisor communication skills related to the emotional experiences of employees? Number 9. Psychology Quantitative psychologists study and develop the methods and techniques used to measure human behavior and other characteristics. Their work involves the statistical and mathematical modeling of psychological processes, the design of research studies, and the analysis of psychological data. Number 10. Political Science Many of the phenomena that are studied in political science can only be properly investigated using quantitative methods. When discussing political revolutions and the emergence of political theory, quantitative data often describes the circumstances best. So those are the different fields or disciplines where we can use quantitative research. Have you ever wondered on how would quantitative research help you in your chosen field? Comment your answers below. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Until next time.